Hello, my name is Tom Lodziak. In this video, we're going to talk all about forehand topspin. And I'm going to take you on a bit of a journey. I'm going to explain the stages you need to go through to turn your forehand topspin into a shot which is capable of dominating your opponents. We're going to go step by step and to start with, we're going to look at the very basics of forehand topspin. Let's go. Stage one is all about how we contact the ball. You may see in other forehand topspin videos that there's a great emphasis placed on how you're using your body and your legs. And yes, of course that is important and we're going to talk about that later. But it's all entirely irrelevant if you don't make the right sort of contact on the ball. To help demonstrate this, we're going to use one of these spin trainers. And to generate topspin, what I need to do is to make this ball rotate. So if we look at my bat angle here, it's fairly close and I'm just spinning over the top of the ball. Okay, just trying to lightly brush the ball. And this is the type of contact we want to make. Okay. If my bat angle is too open, then I'm not going to be spinning the ball. I'm going to be hitting the ball. I'll be generating a little bit of top spin, but not that much. So the basis of forehand top spin is to get that brush. Okay. Boom. At the moment, all I'm focusing on is my contact of the ball. And to get that spin, my bat is naturally moving forwards and up. And therefore, we get that spin. Okay, this is the basis of our forehand topspin. Stage two, we can now start to think about how we use our upper body. And what we want to do is to start to have some rotation. And this rotation, starting from the waist, your upper body turns and then comes forward. And this allows us to start to use our body to put some energy into the shot. Let's have a look at that with a spin trainer. I'm still trying to make that brushing contact on the ball, but I'm now starting to use some waist rotation, creating some more acceleration, generating some more spin. And as you can see, upper body is turning, my left hand is moving with my right hand, and therefore we can start spinning the ball a little more. <laughs> Stage three is about how we use our legs. Now we want to make sure we're lower down. We want there to be some flexibility, some bounce in the knees. We want to be on the front of our feet. And once we have this stance and this bounce, then we can start powering up from our legs, okay? And when we combine this power up from the legs with the waist rotation, then we start generating an awful lot of energy through the use of our body. <laughs> uh, 
The fourth stage is about where you hit your forehand top spin. Now the stroke itself with the body rotation naturally lends itself to go cross court. And that is one good position to aim for. But if your forehand topspin always goes cross court, then it can become predictable. So to have an effective forehand topspin, not only do you need to be able to play it cross court, but also down the line and crucially to your opponent's crossover position. Now, if you can start hitting these three positions, cross court, crossover, down the line, then it's going to be much harder for your opponent to know where you're going to play your shot. Three, two, three, two, three. Stage five is all about varying the spin. And let's keep this simple. Let's focus on three types of variations you might do. First variation might be just doing a really fine graze of the ball, really soft contact. Now this is probably gonna create a slightly slower shot, but very, very spinny. So your opponent has to be able to cope with your spin to be able to return the ball. The second variation is just hitting the ball a little bit flatter. You're still adding top spin, but there's a bit of a hit as well. The ball is sinking into the rubber a little bit more. Now we would call this more of a top spin drive. Okay, so it's gonna be a faster shot. There probably won't be as much spin, but what it lacks for spin, it makes up for by being able to beat your opponent through pace. And the final variation we're gonna talk about is just adding a little bit of side spin onto this shot so that when the ball lands on the other side, it kicks out wide. <laughs> Again, this might be a slightly slower shot, but it's got lots of spin and it moves. So if your opponent doesn't see the side spin, doesn't move, they just reach out, either can't get to the ball or have to play a very weak shot. So there we go, forehand topspin in five stages. The first stage, all about making sure we get the right sort of brushing contact on the ball. Stage two, starting to use more body rotation. Stage three, thinking about how we use our legs when we use our strokes, staying low and powering through. Stage four, where you put the ball varying the placement, sometimes cross court, sometimes down the line, sometimes to the crossover position. And stage five, all the variations. Sometimes playing it slightly slower and spinnier, sometimes playing it slightly uh, flatter and faster, maybe even adding in some hook, some side spin with the top spin as well. And when you start adding in all of these variations with both uh, placement, and different speeds and spins, then you're gonna have a really good weapon to dominate your opponents. Thank you very much for watching. I'll have plenty more videos coming soon. Now, if you're really interested in developing your table tennis skills, I recommend that you join my online table tennis academy. Um, in my online academy, I have loads of exclusive coaching content, I've got in-depth courses, training drill libraries, video analysis, I've got videos on fitness, equipment, match play, technique, all kinds of wonderful content to help you improve at table tennis. So if you would like to join my online academy, then go to tomsttacademy.com.